Hello, good day guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we will discuss about the RHC minimum slab thickness as per the NCV 2015 version 1.0. Okay, so this this time, uh, yung one slab muna yung gagawin natin. Then, probably in the next video, uh, isasama natin yung two slab. Okay, as you can see, uh, ito yung ano natin, interface. So kapag mag-input tayo ng data, yung is not natin is the short span, length. Then yung L is the longer span. Then of course, yung EC natin is the support condition. Under the support condition, meron tayong simple supported. Uh, one end continuous. Both ends continuous, then the cantilever beam. Uh, for example, uh, by selecting the simple supported uh, support, just click this icon to calculate the minimum thickness as per the NSCP. Okay. Then as you can see and you can hear the voice, kapag sinabi na okay, ibig sabihin okay siya, then you can use this tool. But if we use or if we input a uh, two-way slab. For one-way slab only, do not use this tool. So you can hear and you can see the pop-up message that this tool is only for one way slab intended for one slab only not for two is uh, two way slab therefore you cannot use this tool okay then kapag two way yung slab natin in input then the result will be deleted and you cannot see the result but if the given data is in or it is as one way slab and let's say six Okay. Then you can hear the OK sound, the voice, then the result will be displayed in the interface. As you can see, uh, an assembly supported beam, my minimum tick is tied at 300 mm. Then if the one way condition, <coughs> one in continuous beam, the okay. is 250, you have both ends. Okay. Ito. Then the cantilever okay. is 600 mm. Then this is very useful in the uh, selecting or the initial assumption of the thickness of the slab. So, para may hint na tayo. Then, um, we, after this, uh, let's discuss the BP code. Okay. As per the table 407 3.1.1 minimum thickness of solid non stress 1, press 3 1 is slabs. So, ito yung makikita ninyo sa NCP. Then, para magawa natin to sa BBA, so kailangan natin mag-declare. Una yung worksheet muna, to sabihin ko WS siya. Then, and this there is worksheet, isit natin yung worksheet na yan, yung WS na yan dito. Yung this workbook, that worksheet, tapos yung name ng worksheet ninyo. So, yung name ng worksheet ko is RHC. So, it's up to you guys, pwede ninyo yung modify yan kung gagawa kayo. Then of course, uh, kailangan ko i-declare yung S, which is ito, yung short span na yan. Then yung L is the long span. Ito, yung mga value na yan, ah, yung, yung tinatarget ng variable na yan is yung value itself, hindi yung letters. Okay? Then R, of course, is the ratio. Yung SC is the support foundation. Ito yun. Then, the T1 is intended for the thickness of the slab for one way. Kasi later on, uh, later on, mag, ano ako, mag, gagawa ko ng para sa two-way slab, then gagawin ko siya as T2 naman. Okay? Para different uh, variable siya. Okay. Then ngayon, after the declaration of the variable, we will use in this uh, BBA, Kailangan natin iset yung value from the Excel for the cell from here to the code. So as you can see, yung is natin na variable equal siya sa value na WS. Yung WS na yan yung sinet natin kanina na ito. Yun ang tinutukoy niya. Okay? WS, the trench, that B2. Yung B2 na yan, ito yan. As you can see, ito yung cell name niya. Okay? Same with the L, B3 siya. Then, kaya i-compute natin yung R, which is S over L. 
So nakarika rin sa cost sa short span over the long span. Ibig sabihin, if the ratio is less than 0.5, it is considered as one way. But if it is equals to 0.5 or greater, it is considered as two ways lang. Okay? Then, uh, pupunta na tayo dun sa condition. If the ratio is less than 0.5, then ito yung uh, gagawin ng, ng code. So, computer. Yung B5 na yan daw, sa cell natin ito yung B5, ito yung lalabas niya na text. The quotation uh, symbol signifies na text lang yung ilalabas niya. Okay? Then, after that, magsasalita yung computer. Ito yung uh, isa salita niya. Okay. Then, pero, kapag it is equal or greater than yung ratio sa 0.5, ito yung text na ilalabas niya. Then, ito yung uh, isa salita ng computer. Then, mayroon tayong message box na ilalabas. Na, for one with love only, do not use this tool. Okay? Then, hindi niya, after this command, ito, hindi niya i-shoo-shoo yung result. Although may computation siya, pero this is not intended for the two-way slab. Yung lahat ng result, hindi niya ilalabas. Okay, uh, that is my uh, condition as a developer. Okay? Then, ito. Uh, sa pag-sit naman sa SC, yung SC natin sa support condition, Yung support condition natin is at range B4. Ito yun, yung B4 na yan. Then as we can say, uh, we can say, I mean, we can see, uh, punta tayo sa data, yung data natin, ito, yung source natin. Ito yung mga support condition. That's why kapag i-drop natin yan, makikita natin yung different kind of support conditions. Okay. We have here uh, conditions. If SC daw is simply supported, Ito yung lalagay natin na thickness as per the code. Then, same as uh, one end continuous and so on and so forth. Up to the... Okay. Dito, hindi na tayo mag-set ng uh, actual words which is yung cut and deliver kasi kapag uh, ibig sabihin lang dito, if there is not support this condition or yung condition din niya na meet na to, automatically, ito yung isosolve niya. Okay? Over 10. Then, after that, uh, may ginawa pa akong condition. Kapag less than daw siya, magsusulat siya ng text ito. Kasi automatically, wala to. Uh, I mean, initially, wala yan. Ito lang yung makikita ninyo. Pero, of course, yung copyright info ko. Okay? Yan lang. So, as you can see, yung 2.5 over 6 just click the icon uh, the icon of the public engineer youtube channel or the RHC icon kapag i-click natin yan that, uh, uh, by the way this is serve this is serve as a button calculate button okay okay so yun okay daw sabi <laughs> so let's say continue okay okay siya okay 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 so hindi na tayo may rapan then, kapag i-check natin, sabi natin mga 5, so, so it is clearly na magiging 2-way siya. So kapag i-click natin, For one-way slab only, do not use this tool. So mayroon na tayong hint na hindi na natin pwede gamitin yan. Pero, uh, once magawa na ako, makakapit ako para sa 2-way slab, pwede natin i-incorporate para lahat na na. Then kapag i-okay natin, so hindi natin yan makikita yung result. Okay? Yan lang. Uh, by the way, this is free. Uh, you can download it for free. Check na lang ninyo sa description or the comment section. Yan lang guys. Ingat always. Then pray tayo for the peace of the world. Especially between the Russia and the Ukraine. So wala na siya nang, sanang maging war. Then of course, let's continue praying about the sa COVID-19 na mawala na yan. Okay? Then, para sa mga katolik dyan, kailan natin mag-fast. Mag-fasting. And mag arms giving then yun uh, maging mabuting katoliko thank you and god bless